Edge. We are with Joe Casada, the Chief Creative Officer at Marvel. Thank the you so Joe much Quesada. for being here. How you guys Today? doing? Yes, we're doing great. And you're Fantastic. doing. You just had a signing for the 20th anniversary of Marvel. We did. Nights. We had a crazy signing for the for the 20th anniversary, and uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, and actually, yeah. I've been together with those guys. Uh, it was myself, Jimmy Palmiotti, Christopher Priest, and Tom Sugnowski. Uh And I don't think we've done a signing together literally in over 20 years. So oh, wow, yeah, it was fun. Wow. So it's been 20 years. Did you, within that time, did you ever think that it would grow to this extent, this this big? You know, I, I, I always dream big. So, so yeah, I mean, we, we, we hoped we'd have some sort of influence on Marvel. Uh, where it took our respective careers is, 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 you know, really kind of unusual and unexpected. But, uh, but especially Jimmy and I, when we started the imprint, uh, you know, we, we always shot for the moon, you know. And, and we always felt that, you know, we're going to go for it, go for broke, you know. And even when we started our own company that eventually got, you know, uh, hired by Marvel to produce these books. Yeah. So for those out there, because we have fans across the entire spectrum, could you explain kind of in in the shortest way possible what an imprint is as it relates to... Well, it, it, in, in the case of Marvel Knights, it was... It, it, it was a separate. It was it was Marvel Comics, but then the imprint was sort of a sub uh, uh, logo. So it was Marvel Comics, Marvel Knights, and what Marvel Knights, what, what the way we defined it was, these were the more sort of street level and darker characters, uh, more grounded in the approach, but also these were characters that had either did not have their own books anymore, right, or 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 were constantly being canceled, or on the verge of cancellation. Like like Daredevil, when we took over Daredevil, Daredevil was for the first time ever on the verge of cancellation, which was heartbreaking. Yeah. Uh, so so it was an imprint that, but also the imprint signified that it was being done by, by myself and Jimmy and our crew. Uh, so the look of the books was different, the feel of the books was different, the, the writing, the art. We hoped that the whole thing had a different feel to it uh, and fans gravitated to it. So yeah, so it's kind of, you know, companies will do this quite often. They'll have a they'll have a separate imprint, say, well, this is our kids imprint. So it'll, you know, or this is our darker adult imprint. It's just, it's just like any movie studio that makes different movies for different segments of the populace. Yeah. So this November, you have Marvel Knights coming back yes. with some amazing top talent. Yeah. Yeah. Can you give us a little bit of details on that? Uh, not too much because <laughs> it's not my story to, to give away, but, but you know, we contacted Donnie Cates. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and only because Donnie has been so annoying for over a year <laughs> where, where he's, like, he's like, dude, next year, Marvel Knights 20th anniversary. And then, and then he slips in the, 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 the little burn, like, I was a little kid, man, when I was reading that. Oh. You know, and I'm like, hey, Donnie, I have a finger in my pocket that, that I would like to show you. Uh, <laughs> but, but he was so enthusiastic about it and saying, dude, you got to do something. Dude, you got to do something. I'm like, I wish I could. I mean, I haven't, I haven't actually drawn a, 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 a full comic in maybe 13 years, wow. you know, because I just don't have the time to do yeah. this. I do covers and things. And I just said, it's, it's not going to happen. I'm just not going to have the time to do anything. And then as we started talking, as, as the 20th started to come closer, everybody at Marvel was sort of talking and saying, we really should do something. And I'm like, I kind of know a guy, right? <laughs> I know a guy who's been talking to me. Right. And so, so we talked to Donnie, and, 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 and we said, you know, look at this sort of as a, as a showrunner model, like a TV showrunner. Put, you, put together your, your dream team and, and go do something, you know? And then he pitched us a story, and it was really awesome. Uh, but I don't want to pitch Donnie's story. Yeah, you know? yeah, I, just, yeah. I, I, re I really don't. But it does involve, what I can tell you is, he, he, you know, having read all those books, he took a piece of, uh, a couple pieces of, of the continuity from 20 years ago that, you know, and theoretically a Marvel time happened last year, a couple years ago, and, and has built a story around it. And it's, it's, it's part of a really, really cool sort of premise that he's come up. So, so it's not just the Marvel Knights characters and a few other spe special guest stars. It's, it's going back to those stories and, and, and picking a few elements and saying, if you read those 20 years ago, you'll get a kick out of this. If you haven't, doesn't matter because it's still a really good story. Yeah. Good, cool yeah. story. Which is also really cool because these are a lot of characters that people now see all the time. Mm. Um, and I know it's 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 almost like you're like they need to be saved, so we're gonna save them. And that's I mean that's the reason why we know who yeah. they are. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I keep telling people like to me the most rewarding thing is just yeah. seeing how these characters have now become so incredibly popular, right? Yes. I, I, the, the Black Panther is probably the greatest example of that, as is, as is Daredevil. Uh, you know, Daredevil was, yes, there's a Punisher show, which, which is amazing, but Daredevil was our inaugural show on Netflix, you know, yeah. and, and really sort of redefined Mar what Marvel TV was going to be like, right, and what superheroes were going to be like on TV. Mm -hmm. But then you have Black Panther, and there's, mm -hmm. now while that character was created by Stanley and Jack Kirby, Christopher Priest, who, who took over the book 20 years ago, created so much of what you see on screen. I mean, there is no Dora Milaje 
without Christopher Priest. There's no Ever K. Ross without Christopher Priest. Yeah. Um, so many of those characters were fleshed out yeah. by Priest in his run uh, and then just transferred onto the screen. Even his sort of version of Tashala, I think, is very much what you see on screen. Yeah. Uh, so, so to me, th those are sort of the proudest moments when I look back on this time.